This video describes the process to activate your order for XMS Enterprise server licenses and Cambium Care support. If you've purchased Xeris products from Riverbed in the past, you'll notice that Cambium's process for activation is different. Customers are now responsible for this activity. Let's take a look at the high-level end-to-end process, then we'll look at the detailed step-by-step -step activation process. Everything starts when you place an order with an authorized Cambium reseller. Resellers are supported by Cambium Networks and our distribution partners. You'll receive the hardware portion of your order in the usual way. The XMS Enterprise portion of your order consists of server licenses and Cambium Care support SKUs. These are packaged as an entitlement and sent to you via email. The email has an entitlement ID or EID and the line item details. You'll use this EID to create license keys to provision your XMS Enterprise server and to activate the support and subscriptions in your Cambium account. When you receive the entitlement email, go to the Cambium Support Center at support.cambiumnetworks.com. You'll navigate to the entitlement section of the site and paste in the EID. Your path through this workflow depends on whether you have a new installation or an existing installation. When you click Activate, Support Center will store the Cambium Care order in your account with start date and end date. The license key for the managed radio license will be displayed. If you have a new installation, the server serial number will also be displayed. You can now log into your XMS Enterprise server to input your license and for new installations, the serial number. At this point, you can discover and begin using your access points. Now let's take a more detailed look at the process. We'll walk you through both a new installation and adding to an existing installation. Here's a bill of materials for an order for two different AP models, a two radio AP, the XR320, and a four radio AP, the XA4240. The total radio count for the selected quantity of APs is 100 radios. The bill of materials also includes related items for these APs, such as PoE injectors and antennas. Now let's look at the non-hardware elements of the order. This is a new installation, so a base server license is required. This customer has chosen the VMware server option. Because the total radio count for the APs is 100, a managed radio license for 100 radios has been selected. Cambium Care Pro support is required for the managed radio license, so the corresponding part number for quantity 100 has been specified. Support must also be purchased for the APs. There are two options for AP support, Cambium Care Advanced and Cambium Care Pro. This customer has selected three years of Cambium Care Advanced for this order. See the support section of the Cambium website for a description of these support programs. Cambium Care is available in one, three, and five-year terms. When an order for a subscription is placed with Cambium, our order management system creates an entitlement that represents the order. It's identified by an entitlement ID, or EID. Then it sends the email with that EID to the email addresses provided on the order. This is what the email looks like. The entitlement ID appears at the top of the email. You'll use this at a later step. Company is the company that placed the order with Cambium, in this case, a fictional distributor. Please ignore end date. This refers to the lifespan of the entitlement, not to the subscription end date. This will be removed in a future version to avoid confusion. The order details appear at the bottom of the email. This is what will be activated using Cambium's Support Center website. Let's go there now. The website address is support.cambiumnetworks.com. Log in with your Cambium login credentials. If you don't have Cambium login credentials, click register in the upper right corner of the page. You'll get an email that describes how to get a login. Once you've logged into the site, click on licensing. This takes you to the main page of the licensing section. Click on activate entitlements in the upper left corner of the page. Copy the entitlement ID from the email and paste it into the field labeled Entitlement Activation, then click Check. The contents of the entitlement are displayed below. 
If you see an error, you'll need to contact your reseller to make corrections. Now click Activate. There'll be a slight pause for processing. A confirmation page will appear that says you are about to activate the following items. To complete the process, click Activate again. You'll be taken to one more page. It shows that activation is now complete. It provides the serial number and the license key that you'll use to activate your XMS Enterprise server. It displays the radio count represented by the license and the term for Cambium Care. The details table provides a list of what was activated in quantities. When you set up your server, go to Settings, then XMS License. Copy the license key from the Support Center page and paste it into the field in the XMS License page. Do the same for the serial number, then click Apply. The XMS License Info panel appears. It displays the license key, the serial number, and the max radio count of 100. You'll come back to this page again if you order more APs and more radio capacity. Now let's look at the workflow you use when you have an existing installation. Here's a bill of materials for additional APs, a managed device count to support those APs, and the related Cambium Care part numbers. This is not a new installation, so the new installation selection is no. The order is for a slightly different mix of APs, PoE injectors, and antennas. The total radio count is 100, so the managed radio license selection is also 100. Cambium Care Advanced is selected for the APs, and a three-year term is selected. The order is placed and the entitlement email is sent as before with a new entitlement ID. Before you go to Support Center to activate the new entitlement, you need to get your XMS Enterprise serial number. Log into XMS Enterprise and click on Settings, then XMS License. The XMS License info panel is displayed with the serial number and license key. Now log in to Support Center and go to the Entitlement Activation page. Copy the Entitlement ID from the new Entitlement email and paste it into the Entitlement Activation field, then press Check. The Entitlement contents are displayed. Verify that these are the line items you're expecting. Click Activate. The next page has blank fields for license key and serial number. Go to the XMS console and copy and paste these values into the Support Center page. Now click Next. A final page appears that says, the entitlement will be added on top of the following XMS Enterprise license. In other words, the entitlement activation will result in a new license key that will add additional managed radio capacity to your current license. The activation will add additional quantity to your support account as well. Click Activate. After a moment, the confirmation page appears with a new license key and summary of the additional Cambium Care coverage. Copy the license key for the next step. Now return to the XMS license page. Paste the license into the first license key field. One click will fill in all four fields. Copy and paste the serial number into the serial number field, then click Apply. The updated license information is now displayed. Note at the bottom that the max radio count reflects the count from the first license and the count from the second license, a total of 200. You can now add more APs to your installation. Cambium keeps records of the Cambium Care purchase dates, the term of the support you purchased, and which AP models the support covers. 90 days prior to the expiration of your support, you'll be contacted by your reseller to discuss support renewal. This concludes the tutorial on how to activate an entitlement ID and provision your XMS Enterprise account. It's possible that you may encounter an error or see something confusing. To get help with this or any other XMS Enterprise or Xeris AP topic, contact support by clicking on Chat with our support team at the bottom right-hand corner of the page or create a support ticket by clicking on Submit a Request at the top right-hand corner of the page. Also please consider becoming a member of the Cambium community where you can join the conversation with peers and Cambium staff.